analysis of data. We all know that the researcher is interested in collecting and analyzing the data indicating the main characteristics without a hypothesis. In this lesson, we will describe chi-square test, explain t-tests, ANOVA, and non-parametric tests. After going through this presentation, you should be able to explain non-parametric and parametric, describe chi-square test, t-test, discuss regression analysis, define ANOVA, understand non-parametric test, one sample t-test, two sample t-test, correlation or regression, one way ANOVA and one way blocked ANOVA are the parametric tests. Non-parametric tests lack parameters. Rank tests start by ranking the data and distribution free tests don't assume a normal distribution or any other sign test. Man Whitney test, Spearman rank test, Kruskal Wallace test and Friedman test are non-parametric tests. X squared tests the null hypothesis that observed events occur with an expected frequency in large samples frequencies are distributed as X2, X for example, HO. This six-sided dice is fair. Expect all six outcomes to occur equally often. Assumptions of chi squared are that observations are independent, outcomes mutually exclusive, Sample is not small and small samples require exact test, that is, binomial test. X2 equals to the sum of each squared difference between the observed and expected frequencies divided its expected frequency. X2 essentially tests if each cell in a contingency table has its expected value. In a two-way table, this expectation will be the value of an adjacent cell. A company marketing tea claims that 70% of population in a metro drinks a particular brand, wood smoke, of tea. A competing brand challenged this claim. They took a random sample of 200 families to gather the data. During the study period, it was found that 130 families were using this brand of tea. Will it be correct on the part of the competitor to conclude that the claim made by the company does not hold good at 5% level of significance? Here, hypothesis H0, people who drink wood smoke brand is 70%. H0, people who drink wood smoke brand, is not 70%. If the hypothesis is true, then the number of consumers who drink this particular brand is 200 multiplied by 0 0.7 equals to 140. Those who do not drink that brand are 200 multiplied by 0 0.3 equals to 60. Degree of freedom equals to D equals to 2 minus 1 equals to 1 since there are two groups. A 0 0.5 level of significance for 1 DF is equal to 3.841 from tables. The calculated value is 2.381 is lower. Therefore, we accept the hypothesis that 70% of the people in the metro drink wood smoke branded tea. T-test is used in the following circumstances. When the sample size N is less than 30, for example, a certain pesticide is packed into bags by a machine. Random samples of 10 bags are drawn and their contents are found as follows. 50, 49, 52, 44, 45, 48, 46, 45, 49, 45. Confirm whether the average packing can be taken to be 50 kgs. In this text, the sample size is less than 30. 
standard deviations are not known using this test, we can find out if there is any significant difference between the two means, that is, whether the two population means are equal. Regression is a technical term for predicting the value of one variable from the other. When we predict y from x, we can use the equation y equals to mx plus c. Here, m equals to r, the coefficient of correlation. Sales forecasting is the most common application of regression analysis. If many variables exist, filter out some variables to reduce collinearity or perform factor analysis to combine the correlated variables. Then a best prediction equation is determined from the set of independent variables. Simple regression involves one independent variable, x for example, direct labor hours or machine hours alone, whereas multiple regression involves two or more independent variables. In estimating the cost volume formula, regression analysis attempts to find a line of best fit. To find the line of best fit, a technique called the least squares method is widely used. It is a statistical technique. It is used to test the equality of three or more sample means. Based on the means, inference is drawn whether samples belong to the same population or not. Two-way ANOVA, analysis of variance, also known as two-factor ANOVA, can help you determine if two or more samples have the same mean or average. This is a form of hypothesis testing. The goal is to accept or reject the null hypothesis. That is, the samples have different means at a certain confidence level, 95% or 99%. Cox and Stewart test is similar to sign test but take into consideration the ranking of the magnitude of the difference among the pairs of values. Man whitney u similar to Wilcoxon, matched paired signed ranks test except that the samples are independent and not paired. It's the most commonly used alternative to the independent samples t-test. Null hypothesis, the population means are the same for the two groups. The actual computation of the Mann-Whitney test is simple. You rank the combined data values for the two groups. Then you find the average rank in each group. Requirement. The population variances for the two groups must be the same, but the shape of the distribution does not matter. Kruskal-Wallace one-way ANOVA it's more powerful than the chi-square test when ordinal scale can be assumed. It is computed exactly like the Mann-Whitney test except that there are more groups. The data must be independent samples from populations with the same shape. Kolmogorov Smirnov compares the distribution of a variable with a uniform, normal, Poisson or exponential distribution. Null hypothesis, the observed values were sampled from a distribution of that type. A run test for randomness is defined as a sequence of cases on the same side of the cut point. You should use the runs test procedure when you want to test the hypothesis that the values of a variable are ordered randomly with respect to a cut point of your choosing, that is, default cut point, median. Sign test did not use all the information available, the size of difference, but it requires less assumptions about the sample and can avoid the influence of the outliers. Now let's see how much you have learned till now. State whether the following statements are true or false. Chi-square is used when there are two variables, expected frequency and observed frequency is used for computing. True. ANOVA method is used to fit the line. True. Regression is a term used for predicting the value of one variable from the other. False. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied so far. 
Analysis of the data involves organizing the data in a particular manner. Interpretation of data is a method of deriving conclusions from the data analyzed. Analysis of data is not complete unless it is interpreted. With the help of chi-square test, we will come to know whether two or more attributes are associated or not. How much the two attributes are related cannot be by chi-square test. Regression is a technical term for predicting the value of one variable from the other. ANOVA is a statistical technique. It is used to test the equality of three or more sample means. Least square method is used to fit the line. ANOVA is used to draw inference whether sample belong to same population or not. ANOVA can be one way or two way.